A Turkish source reports that the assembly of the second Taycan fighter prototype, a product of local industry, is nearing its final stages. Once the final assembly and engine integration processes are complete, the estimation is that the conclusion will be reached around June or July. Subsequently, the second prototype will undergo a series of comprehensive flight tests. The first prototype of Khan achieved speeds of 230 knots at an altitude of 8,000 feet. According to the strategic plans of the Turkish Ministry of Defense, by 2028, the Turkish Air Force should be armed with at least 20 Khan units. The Turkish aerospace industry considers the assembly of this second prototype as a pivotal milestone in the aircraft's ongoing evolution. The impending comprehensive flight tests will not only ask questions, but will also provide vital responses in any such project. The development and testing of a second prototype is always marked as a crucial turning point. In the first stage of the Khan Airborne Trials, the team will meticulously assess the aircraft's flightworthiness. This involves judgments on the aircraft's maneuverability, stability, and control across various altitudes and speeds. The Taycan, a state-of-the-art, twin-engine stealth fighter aircraft, stands primed for all-weather combat. It exemplifies innovative engineering with its high maneuverability and stealth features, aimed squarely at dominating air superiority missions and strike endeavors. Analysts project that the Taycan will host an array of weapons, a mix of air-to-air, -air, air to surface and anti-ship missiles. Additionally, there is the possibility that developers might include an internal gun. To maintain stealthiness, designers expect the jet to carry its weapon load inside internal bays. <laughs>